Transcendence is a most curious name for a movie that never shakes free from those hoary old clichés about the evils of technology and the danger by which man plays at becoming a god. The man in question here is Johnny Depp, whose listless lead performance as a brilliant scientist in the field of artificial intelligence does little to aid this overplotted, dramatically undernourished debut feature from a long-time Christopher Nolan DP Wally Pfister. Arriving at a crowded Springbox office, the pick will test Depp's drawing power outside of the Disney franchise factory, before weak word of mouth and the amazing Spider-Man 2 send it packing. One of the manifold pleasures of Spike Jonze's her was how elegantly it shrugged off decades of speculative fiction in which technological progress correlated to a loss of human individualism. In its place was the delightful suggestion that, rather than battling us for domination, artificial intelligence might join us in romantic bliss, and then, having had its fill, journey off in search of some more fulfilling destiny in the cosmos. But in Transcendence, which might have been titled him, it's very much back to square one, the culture of technophobia that gave us the predatory mainframes and cyborgs of 2001, Demon Seed and Alien, and that early 90s wave of cyber paranoia thrillers, The Net, The Lawn Mower Man, Virtuosity, that now seem as quaint as dial-up internet. Some might add to that list the collective work of James Cameron, almost all of which involves the fusion of man and machine, except, in Cameron's case, technology is just as often friend as foe, and in any event an inevitability that we can't reasonably be expected to live without. Yet, when transcendence begins in some unspecified near future year, the plug has been pulled on that whole crazy information superhighway. Abandoned cell phones litter the streets like tumbleweeds in an old western. Computer keyboards make for convenient doorstops. Our narrator, Paul Bettany, reports of an unstoppable collision between mankind and technology, and then begins to unfurl his tale of woe. Fittingly, we are in Barclay, that hallowed hippie enclave where the coming of chain stores was once seen as a sign of cultural apocalypse, until a more immediate threat arrived in the form of Silicon Valley one percenters.